Let's take a look how to move this UFO without, with the keyboard or uh, um, with the arrow keys. So for that I'm going to from Pyglet that window import the key and here after after this line I'm going to create a keyboard um, object and this will be equal to the key that key state handler and I'm also going to push to director that window that push underscore handler or handlers the keyboard so and now I'm going to create a class and I'm going to call it just mover and this class will be in, uh, will inherit from Cocos that actions that move yes and I'm also going to override the step event and give it after the self give it the dt or the delta time and also going to call the super classes uh, step event so with the dt and now I'm going to create two variables one is the velocity x and the velocity x will be equal to an expression which will be the keyboard keyboard at key dot uh, right yes key dot right minus the keyboard at key dot left and this whole expression times 500 so let me take a look so if keyboard rise right um, minus keyboard left so if no keyboard is pressed so nor the right nor the left arrow this will be 0 minus 0 so 0 minus 0 is 0 times 500 is 0 but when let's say the right is pressed so it will be 1 minus 0 so it is 1 times 500 is 500 so but if the left key is pressed, it will be 0 minus 1, which will evaluate to minus 1. So minus 1 times 500 is minus 500. So it's a very uh, convenient way to actually move. So if both keys, the right and the left, is pressed, this will evaluate to 0, and 0 times 500 is 0. But when only one is pressed this will be either 500 or negative 500 so this is the velocity x and let's create the same for velocity y and with the keyboard key key that up uh, not you but up minus the keyboard and key dot down down and also multiply this whole expression with 500 and then create uh, set the self dot target that velocity velocity equal to 
velocity x and velocity y. So, and here now in, the, in this UFO layer, after I set its position, I'm also going to call the sprite that do method and give it the mover we just created here. So sprite do mover and don't forget the uh, brackets. And I think it won't work yet because as far as I know we need to define also these velocities. So I'm going to try it. And yes, sprite object has no attribute velocity. Okay, so here I'm going to create a sprite that velocity. Hello city and let's set it to zero and zero velocity and now it should work I think okay yes now I'm pressing the right the left down up and it also can move diagonally if you press let's say the up and the right key or down and the left key and if you press both keys let's say uh, the right and the left it will stop and then as soon as you release let's say the right key and it will continue to move to left and so now we have a uh, very simple movement and if you want it to move to uh, faster or slower just change this value let's say if you want it to move um, faster give it I don't know 1000 and now it moves much faster and if you want to move it slower, then decrease this value, let's say 100. And now it moves very slow. But I'm going to set it back to 500. So, this is a simple way to actually create a custom action which inherits from this move and I think I'm going to cover actions uh, more in a later video I was thinking what to cover next and I decided that I'm going to just cover um, how to load a background and make it scrollable so we will load uh, a big image and as this UFO moves it will scroll the layer and I think it will be interesting so hope you see in the next video as well and thanks for watching and have a nice day.